Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Bates, editor of Grower Talks Magazine. I think that the burpee name is pretty much synonymous with vegetables, which is why when I heard that Burpee Home Gardens was introducing a new line of vegetable plants called Burpee Boost, I wanted to learn more. They say that Burpee Boost has a higher level of antioxidants than your standard vegetable plants. So we're in West Chicago, Illinois, where we're going to meet with one of the developers of Burpee Boost. We're also going to talk to a registered dietitian and a consumer brand manager about the product. But first, let's find Doug Lemley, who's one of the developers of the Boost line. One of the products you've been developing is a new Burpee Boost vegetable line. What is Burpee Boost? So Burpee Boost is a collection of vegetables, first of its kind to the market, where each variety has a higher level of antioxidant that it produces. So beta carotene, vitamin C, lutein, and they're developed specifically for the home garden to make uh, healthier lifestyles. All right, so what kind of vegetables are we talking about here? So we got three tomatoes, a cucumber, a pepper, and a mixed green blend. Like salad greens. Like salad greens. All right, cool. So how do you get more an, uh, antioxidants into a vegetable? It's not with like genetic modification, is it? No GMOs. This is all done through traditional breeding. In fact, we are building on a project that the USDA started over 25 years ago, and we just finished the product for for the horticultural industry. They're specifically developed, again, for the home home garden. So we've included traits to make the home gardener more successful. Very cool. Now, you've got more stuff inside the fruit. Is there any way to tell? I mean, do the plants look any different? Are the plants or the fruits? Oh, yeah. So most of these antioxidants are pigments. So when we look at the different fruits... So you've got some here. Yeah. So these are tomato power pops. You can see the dark red color coming through. Um, in the variety uh, solar power, it's a bright orange tomato. The cucumber has orange flesh, which is unlike any other cucumber on the market right now. And now, when you were breeding and, 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 and testing these, you weren't doing anything fancy with fertilizers that could have, could have uh, like, uh, uh, affected the results at all, were, were you? No. We, we trialed them um, very standard growing conditions. Uh, we trialed it in several different locations against standard home garden varieties, and any home gardener would have the same results that we have. All right, very cool. Now, how do you envision uh, Boost fitting into your typical grower's uh, vegetable program? So that's what's exciting. These are very exceptional products that can be put into the traditional growing uh, process that every grower has for vegetables. And they're very early, so they can be taken to market with fruit on the plant. All right, that's cool. And, and for, the, for the home gardener, uh, it's pretty obvious this should be a kind of a no-brainer, but how do you think it'll fit into the home garden? They've been developed to be, have, be great performers in the ground and in containers for the home garden, and it's just going to improve a healthy lifestyle. All right. Well, Doug, very cool. I might even try one of those and healthy up my own lifestyle. Thanks for the behind-the-scenes look at how they boosted boost vegetables. Thank you. Well, Doug Limley gave us a good outline of what the Burpee Home Gardens Boost Program is all about, but to get more in-depth with the science of antioxidants, we've come to downtown Chicago where we're going to meet with Jennifer Vimbor. She's a registered dietitian and has her own company down here, Nutrition Counseling Services. Let's see what she's got to say about this antioxidant business. Jennifer, we hear a lot about antioxidants, but I bet a lot of people don't necessarily know what they are or what they do. Can you help us out with that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, they help with damage to our cells. They basically keep us healthy. Pretty simple. Now, I'm gonna, I've got a list of what I think are antioxidants. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me what they are and what they do as we go down them. Uh, beta carotene. Mm -hmm. Antioxidant? Yes, it is. Okay, because that's in uh, one of the, the, the Burpee Boost cucumbers and, uh, and one of their tomatoes, too. So what is beta carotene and what does it do? Um, beta carotene has been shown to help uh, people who are sensitive to sun, sunlight, help, help prevent sunburn. Um, it's also been shown to decrease risk of some cancers, as well as help with um, macular de degeneration, as long as they're taking their medications with it. Okay, all good things. How about uh, lycopene? That's in uh, a couple of the tomatoes. What does lycopene do for us? Lycopene has been shown to help decrease risk of prostate cancer. 
another very good thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the salad mix are, are a couple of them, uh, anthocyanins, did I pronounce that you right? You do, that's good. Uh, anthoth anthocyanins and lutein. Uh, you have those two lumped together for some reason, why is it? Well, they, they're they both antioxidants. They have common, um, common outcomes, I guess we could say. All right, and what do they do for us? Uh, well, that helps with vision. They help with overall vision, um, macular degeneration, as well as cataracts. All right, and, and vitamin C. It is an antioxidant, but it's also a vitamin. So what does that one do for us? Well, that actually helps with wound healing. It helps with wound healing, so you get some scratches or deep cuts or anything. Take that, it'll help with the healing process. Excellent. So your, um, your clients, uh, I assume you recommend antioxidants to them? I do, all the time. And how, how do you suggest they get more of them in their diet? Food. Definitely buy food. More plant, plant foods, uh, fruits and vegetables. It's the best way. Excellent. Well, thank you, Jennifer, for helping us get to the bottom of what these antioxidants are. Absolutely. Anytime. Thank you. To learn about the Burpee Boost program, we first met with a breeder who talked about how Boost was developed. Then we went to downtown Chicago where we met with a dietitian who talked about antioxidants and what they do for us. Now to wrap up, we've come to the Blue Goose Market in St. Charles, Illinois, where we're going to meet with Virtue Beva. She's the consumer brand manager for Burpee Home Gardens, and Virtue is going to make the consumer connection for us, telling us what consumers uh, should get out of the Burpee Boost program. Virtue, how are you today? I'm fine, Chris. How are you? I'm very well. Now, you are the consumer brand manager for Burpee Home Gardens, but you've also got a nutritionist background. Is that right? Uh, I am a certified health counselor, and I'm studying nutrition for my master's degree. Uh, at the same time, I'm working hard to maintain a very healthy lifestyle in my family while having a busy work schedule. So, so you're the natural person to tell us why Burpee Boost is going to be important to consumers. This is the first ever vegetable program out of Burpee Home Gardens uh, that has higher level of antioxidants. So it can be strongly marketed to the consumers who are searching for ways to promote, uh, to increase their health lifestyles. That isn't vegetable gardening automatically a healthy lifestyle? Uh, vegetable gardening definitely promotes the healthy lifestyle, but this program has extensive nutritional uh, testing and scientific program behind it that, ha that gives it uh, extra nutrients than the average garden variety. So when the consumers go and get those vegetables, they're indeed having healthier products than a regular garden variety. All right, that sounds great. But now, a busy garden center on a spring Saturday is a crazy place. Hard to find anything. How are they going to identify the Burpee Boost products? First of all, they should look for the branded Burpee Home Gardens pots. And then we have special designed POPs that highlights the extra nutrient levels. Uh, it has uh, a very easy to recognize nutrition facts looking like label, like in the food products. So it definitely shows out which elevated levels are in uh, which varieties. All right. The varieties, you mentioned varieties. We haven't talked about the specific varieties in the Boost program. Can you describe them to us? We have six varieties in the program that all have naturally occurring higher level of antioxidants than the regular garden varieties. For example, our gold standard cucumber has five times better keratin than the regular uh, cucumber, and it has a gold, gold flesh tone. And sweet heat pepper has 65% more vitamin C. When it comes to healing canned salad mix, it has, it has a bunch of nutrients like 20% more lutein, 30% more beta carotene, 30% more carotenoids, and 70% more anthocyanins. Uh, so on the tomato side, our cherry punch tomato has 30% more vitamin C and 40% more lycopene, whereas Power Pipes tomato has 55% more lycopene and 40% more carotenoids. And solar power tomato has three times more beta carotene and an orange flesh color. Wow, that was quite nutrients, right? That's a lot of nutrients, and it kind of makes me think, do I have to be an expert gardener or, or grow organically or something in order to get all the benefits, or can any gardener reap the benefits of the boost vegetables? That's actually a very good question. Uh, so these tests are done uh, under the trial conditions uh, compared to the regular garden varieties, which basically translates as if you take those boost vegetables to your garden and uh, plant them side by side with the regular garden varieties under the same conditions, you will get the extra nutrients, same extra nutrients, whether you're a 
startup gardener or a master gardener. All right. Now, speaking as a nutritionist and a mom, do you really feel like the uh, the added benefits of the vegetables and the POP at retail is going to attract the consumer? Absolutely. More and more stores like this are uh, ded dedicating more space to healthy, healthy foods, and more and more consumers are looking for healthy ways to uh, add to their uh, lives. All right. Now, we're in a produce department here at, at Blue Goose. I don't think you're going to find the, the vegetable plants here. Where are we going to find the plants? Uh, consumers can find those plants in the uh, garden, garden areas of their favorite retail centers. All right. Well, Bertu, thanks so much for making the consumer connection on Burpee Boost Vegetables. We appreciate it. Thank you, Chris.